Welcome back to Jimmy Deville's Garage and episode 11 of the Barn Fine Fergie project. In this episode we've got dashboards, gauges, throttle linkages and oil pressure pipes. There's a lot going on, so let's get into it. further this project goes, the more Gav and I start to really feel the character of this old tractor. But we have to admit, some of that old character might not quite be savable. Good things can come to an end, but where there is an end, there is often a new beginning. So the first job today is to make a new throttle rod uh, to connect the throttle lever to the valve on the inlet manifold. Wish I was in London, the summer of the seaport town. Set my foot in a steamboat, sail the ocean round. Sailing round the ocean, sailing round the sea. I think you'd have some Barbie brother, maybe. Looks like a nice clean thread. Lovely. Saw him in the church that Sunday. The new swivel ends cost only a few pounds each and have a quarter UNF thread just like the original ones. They're looking to be just the job. That should do the trick. Can I just say, Gab, it is great to be back and you've already been busy today. I've done a bit of work on the old rod, mate. You have. You made us a new throttle linkage, which we're going to be putting in here because in this episode, we're going to be connecting all of this back up. So uh, you've already made a start. I guess the next thing we need to do is put some more of the linkage in here and then we can start looking at the dashboard. Yep. Now, I am expecting you have bought in a rather lovely Victoria So Say sponge. Ah, well, uh, mm, yeah, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> very disappointing, Gav. A very disappointing indeed. I've been looking forward to that for two whole weeks. I'll uh, I'll have a word with uh, you know the old mother. Yeah, yeah. She normally doesn't let us down. No. All right then. Well, I suppose uh, to deal with my hunger pains, we may as well get on with the job. So first thing, connecting in that old bit of a uh, throttle linkage, which was a complete and utter mess the last time we saw it, but now is in a far better state. Should we get it fitted? Yeah, let's do it. Good work smashing that out, by the way. Thanks, mate. All right, let's get on. The last time we saw this, it really was in a sorry state, but we managed to get it freed up. And this is what carries the linkage through from this the inlet manifold. So uh, that needs to go on. In. Yeah. 
this critical linkage piece really does feel like it's going in a lot easier than it came out. Could the old TF finally be actually starting to work with us? That is lovely. It is really nice to have all of this in and moving again. Before we put in Gav's new rod, we actually need to sort out the dash area and this little stud here needs drilling out. So uh, there's a little bit of work to do here. So Jimmy's absolutely right. We need to remove this old stud. So what I'm gonna do is just grind it flat a little bit so I can really carefully drill right up the center and get this old stud out. Right, so I need to be really careful to go up the centre of this fast now, so I'm just going to centre pop it so I can get the drill right in the middle. So the reason we're drilling this out, rather than just getting a hammer and punch and trying to push it out, is because this is like cast aluminium or magnesium. If we start hitting that, you're gonna start snapping bits off. So this is the best way to get that out. Right, so basically all I'm doing is just stepping up the size of the drills, just keep enlarging it, enlarging it, and basically eat away at that bolt and it should come out. So there's very little left of that faster in there now, so we should have weakened it sufficiently to maybe have a go at just pushing that out now. Right, so it's still got a bit of a good grip in there, so uh, instead of hitting it too hard, I'm going to put a little bit of heat on there as well. Bingo. So this is the old fastener I drilled out. I'm gonna replace it with this new one. That'll be job done. Fantastic. You know what, sometimes a little job so like replacing a stud can just be very, very satisfying. And that was one of those, wasn't it, Gav? Yeah, nice little job to sort Yeah, lovely job. Anyway, moving on to something slightly bigger and slightly more gnarly, because the next thing to go on is this, the dash. Grimace, you might, because this is 
in a shocking state. Um, we had considered repairing this, but after further inspection, we've just decided that this and everything on it is just in far too much of a nasty state. The gauges are knackered, it's completely rotted away, it is no good. So we've got a problem, Gav. Well, don't you worry, my friend. Oh, Look oh, oh. at this beauty. Oh. 30 pounds, 30 quid. And that is in absolutely a mint condition. Well, uh, you say that, my friend. Um, it wasn't when it arrived, so I had to do a few repairs thus. You really weren't wrong, Gav. That really is a nasty corroded hole in the new old dash panel. Time to crack out the grinder and get that rot on its way. Now that the rot's removed, the solid metal edges can be cleaned up. Shiny. It's out with the pens and paper to make a template of the infill piece. The shape is transferred onto a suitable piece of metal and the patch piece is cut out. Ooh, now that is a cracking fit, Gav. It's on with the MIG welder and the patch can be tacked into place. Then it's back out with the grinder to smooth everything off. Absolutely seamless. Last job is to give it a spray with the rusting solution from episode 8. May as well do the big old cock while you're there, Gav. Brace yourself, Gavin. Brace yourself because I'm about to pay you a compliment. Because I have to be honest, the first time you showed me that, I couldn't tell that it had actually been repaired. Well, thank you, my friend. You, my good man, have done a good thing. Anyway, before your head gets too big, fills up this shed, I suggest we get it fitted. I think that's a good idea, mate. Well, here you go. New dash, going on. If you are enjoying Gav and I's progress with this old tractor, please don't forget to hit that mighty subscribe button and help us grow the channel. so much better now. No money down, no credit plan, no time to chase you, cause I'm busy. Now you are sure that that's everything, Gav. Uh, Jimmy, weren't you supposed to remind me to put this bracket on? Gav, don't forget to put that bracket on. Take two, rewind that thing. Right, 
Master Dash back on. Now uh, for uh, this bracket here. Gavin, I'm going to use a word now which I say for very special occasions because your dash, dare I say it, is spiffing. Thanks very much. It's a grand job mate and it looks really great in there. Um, that's done, we need to go on to the next bit of kind of the dash console area which is here. Mm -hmm. And that was in an abhorrent state. I just used the, you just used the word abhorrent, is that even the right word? Yeah, it, it was brilliant. Um, <laughs> I'm like this. <laughs> Which was not brilliant. It's, it's a total mess. It's to bits, disgusting. Yeah. Mess. Rotten, rotten, rotten. So yet again, I did jump on the old internet and this is something I didn't honestly think I'd ever find. However, for around 40 of the English pounds, I did gav. You've got a bit of it there. Yeah. I've got a bit of it here. It is in really nice condition and it's gonna fit right in here. So uh, I think that deserves a little bit of celebration. Cake. Oh yeah, cake, because I know Mama Jackson didn't come up with the old Victoria sponge, but Mama DeVille surely did come back with the old chocolate brownie. And I have it here. So I suggest we have a little bit of this. Come on then. Now, I do need the knife, the old six foot workshop ruler. So give it a clean off. Let's not be dirty. And uh, let's take, oh, look at that. Ooh. That is like a liquid chocolate. Here, get on some of that. Oh yeah. Now you have a little go on that. How's that? Mm. Chef. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen, while you enjoy yourself there, I think I'll get on getting ready to put this on. Yeah, it's quite fun. <laughs> Unbelievable. That is nice. If you're rebuilding an old vehicle or have any questions about anything Gav and I have been doing, we'd love to hear about it in the comments section down below. Also, if anyone knows of a nice hedgerow patinaed set of rear wheels and tyres in the south of England that need a new home, we'd love to hear from you. Getting these panels back on is really starting to make a big difference to the way this tractor looks. It's starting to look a little bit more tractor-like now. These old bolts do back up. We're yet another step closer to get this old tractor done. That looks great, Jimmy. Got the next bit for you, mate. Not only does this look great, but if you remember when we took it off, it was wobbling and horrible because it's all run away, but yeah. now it's solid. Right, should we spot that in? Yeah. And she goes. Oh, nice. How are you getting on your side, Gav? I'm done, mate. Ooh, I'm glad you're done, I'm also done. And I tell you what, that is sturdy now, isn't it? Lovely. Before, it kind of flapped in the wind because it was so rotten. Yeah. That's a good thing. Which means we can move on to the next thing. And the next thing is, well, I'm gonna have a play with my rod. See if I can get it fitted in the hole. Indeed, indeed. Which is gonna be a little bit fiddly now because you've got to feed it through all of that, but that's necessary. There's holes in there to feed it through. And while you're doing that, I'm probably gonna get this breather on there. Should we get on with it? Yeah. Swap sides, I suggest, my good man. Let's do it. Mm. 
Right, I can see straight away it's going to be a bit of a fiddle getting this throttle rod through here. I'm just going to try and feed it through these holes down to the front, to the manifold. This is extra fiddly trying to thread this into the lever. That's died, that's good. Right, connect the front end up now to the throttle lever. Right, that's the nap done up. Now I've got to give it a little uh, wiggle, and I? There we go, look at that. Yeah, it's clearing everything through these holes. It's all working nicely, mega. That is going back on a lot easier than it came off. Happy days. <laughs> I tell you what, this gear linkage, that is lovely. Silky. I could do that all day long. And also, now this stuff is all starting to come back, I've got to sit up a little bit higher so I can be seen. Anyway, on to things more important. I'll show you mine if you'll show me yours. Right, you are, mate. Have a look at this rusty old knob. Yeah, uh, so we actually took off the gear stick a long time ago, but I don't think it was ever on film, and it was seized completely solid. But uh, you've knocked that about a bit, and now... There's a bit of sloth in it, but... <laughs> <laughs> She's back in the game, though. Yeah. So next, I guess, you're going to be fitting that? Yep, let's stick it on. Well, I promised you I'd show you mine, so here it is. Come on, in. Not as impressive as your gear knob. It is in a box, though. It is in a box. Um, I hope I didn't just smash it because I thought because we're putting the dash on I would get us what's the dash for it's for a gauges so I'll get us a little gauge so there we are a new oil pressure gauge which is going to be really important for when we get this engine running again so we know it's got oil pressure so I'm going to pop that in there while you get your stick back in the game lovely should we get on with it yep this top of this gearbox is in a bit of a sorry old state uh, there's some remnants of some old gasket. I'm just trying to clean it up and make the best of it that we can. Probably make our own little gasket to go on there. Right, so I've scraped off all the old gasket around the gear knob uh, hole here and I've made a new gasket. Now these didn't come in the kit, so like I said, we made one. And we used this gasket paper now this is great stuff to have around the uh, workshop and it comes in varying sizes and you can buy a pack of it for about four quid uh, online and it's a really handy ha thing to have if you just need to make the odd little random gasket. That's the gear knob on. There's a little bit of play in there. This should be all right. Time to tackle the new gauge. What kind of man do you think I am? I'll tell you, darling, I'm the man who can. You know all those things about love that you've been told. Tell them to every day and now till I'm old Oh, can you go the distance? You know I hope you can Oh, will you go the distance? Because honey, that's the plan Gav and I were also going to be running a new oil pressure pipe. But we've got to be honest, we're not sure of the route it should take as we have no reference. If you could help us out any, we'd love to hear about it in the comments section down below. 
You'll find that if you stick around, I'll be right by your side. Well, can you go the distance, baby? I hope you can. I help you go the distance because, honey, that's the plan. Mm -hmm. Life's a journey, but we think that it be me. Taking turns of being in the driving seat. You know I wear your ring of love, a sacred place. That's the new gate in. From now until I'm most we can stick together, this woman and this man. I tell you what, Gab, this episode we've done lots of little jobs, but they've all come together to really make a big change, haven't they? Yeah, they have. And I mean, look at the old girl. I'm really starting to become quite fond of her now. Just that kind of ageing beauty. She stopped fighting us for the same time being. <laughs> what did you just say? Yeah. And I just think we're sort of like... We're working together now, aren't we? So. We are working together. Well, I'll tell you what, I think that's a lovely place to leave your blossoming relationship and sadly end this episode because that is all we've got time for. Listen, if you've got any questions for Gavin and I, please leave them in the comments down to below and one of us will get back to you. Also, if you're enjoying Jimmy Deville's Garage and the Barn Fine Fergie project, please remember to hit subscribe and that little bell icon so you'll know the next time we release an episode. Until then, from Gav, from I, happy tractoring, and we'll catch you later. <laughs> a little bit of wheat came out. I tried. Gav, if you could be any Star Wars character, what would it be and why? Boba Fett. Just because he looks cool. And he can, he's got jetpack and he... Spring. You? Yoda. <laughs> you walk, yeah. <laughs> you got the facial hair. He calls me little baby. Um, R2D2. He's cool, isn't he? No, all right, not RTD2. Um... Yeah. Han Solo. See, yeah, sorry, I forgot about that one. Yeah, Han Solo. Could you use a little help? No help once you Cool, isn't he? Flies a Millennium Falcon. Or owns a Millennium Falcon. And he's got a pet Wookiee. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't tell you what that was. There's a frog in here somewhere. Naughty frog. <laughs>